Hello there, this is Uncle Troy. Today we're playing yet again with the uh, Skeleton Spawner. I swear to you, when I first started this, the Skeleton Spawner was going to be one episode, maybe two tops. I certainly didn't intend to keep coming back to it. But I had a thought, and of course when I have a thought, that's bad. But I had a thought that we could add a general mob spawning area to the back of the Skeleton Spawner, and that way we could also get gunpowder, feathers, you know, other things we might need. Uh, but then I thought, well, the whole point of having skeleton spawners, you can get just the arrows you need. Uh, so, in addition to having a general mob spawning area, we also needed a way to turn off the other general mobs. So, I started working on that today. I started at the end and wired a switch up right here. I figure in one position it will stop all the mobs from uh, coming into the area. Uh, in the other position, of course, it will allow them, and of course, they will all drown or uh, burn in the lava. I ran the uh, redstone wire back here uh, around the outside of the uh, skeleton spawner area, and plan to eventually run the wires back here. Uh, the mobs will spawn back in this area, get uh, drawn this way. If I can get the uh, water currents just right, I want them to uh, take the mobs to the edge of the skeleton spawner trap, but uh, not interfere with the water currents. But I've got to uh, turn all this back here into a mob spawning area. I figure that'll take me a little while. I had seen pistons used in many uh, videos, but I've never actually played with them myself, so I just wanted to uh, assure myself of how they worked before I uh, did something. Uh, with them. I want, didn't want to uh, dedicate a lot of time to working with them and then find out what I was trying to do with them was impossible. Okay, thanks to these signs here and here, uh, mobs can come across here. Um, you can uh, use water streams to carry mobs more than eight spaces without having to go up and down. And piston should shut off the upper water stream. So mobs cannot get through. Tall mobs anyway. I guess a chicken or a pig could get through there, but we don't have any of those down here. So if you're, uh, if the piston's open or closed or whatever that is, retracted, there's a word. Uh, if the piston's retracted, you can uh, swim right through there. But if the piston is extended, then a mob would swim over here and get stuck. Assume there's a roof above my head and see how my health bar is going down, or rather my oxygen bar. So that will uh, allow us to control the flow of mobs and the ones that can't pass through, I guess, will just sit there and dry. Okay, I made a minor change there. I uh, dug out a hole at the bottom and put a flaming block of netherrack down there. I figure uh, when the uh, piston is extended and the mobs can't get through, uh, they will fall down and drown, or fall down and burn, rather, while they're drowning. And uh, that way their drops will not uh, come down into the skeleton spawning area and uh, mess up what you're going for. If all you're looking for is the uh, arrows, then having a bunch of gunpowder and feathers and whatnot follow through, fall through is uh, going to be bad. But I think the mobs can uh, pass through there pretty much unimpeded, but will stop and drown, possibly burn, and then their drops will fall to the fire and burn out. So I think that's the way I want it right here. And yes, that could be lava down there, but I've already fallen into there a couple times, and if it was lava, I'd be dead by now. So. We're going to try not to use lava just yet. And no sooner than I finished than I finished that, then it occurred to me that, you know, it's going to take a while for them things to drown or uh, burn. If I could cut out that lava or that uh, water altogether at the top, they would have no choice but to fall down in there and burn. So I moved the water source over to the side and... Uh, change where the piston was ever so slightly so now a mob can swim through and ignore the water or excuse me ignore, ignore the burning uh, fire underneath or if it's closed 
he would simply be pushed off the edge here into the fire, which I'm uh, trying not to do because I don't have enough armor to uh, survive getting caught on fire more than a couple more times. So I think this will be the new way we're going to do this. Yeah, that seems to work just fine. Okay, I think I've got it pretty much uh, wired up now. If the switch is in the, or lever, is in the up position, uh, it's, which is marked all mobs. It was marked differently before, but it was easier to change the sign than to change the wiring once I was finished. Uh, the piston is retracted. The water flows down. And mobs can swim right down this little channel and over into the skeleton spawner trap where they will uh, drown or burn in the lava. We come over here and uh, set it down to only skeletons. We'll see that the redstone is now powered. And when we go over here, we find that the piston is now extended, the water is not flowing, and anything coming down that uh, water channel will get thrown into fire. Burn, baby, burn. So they should die quickly, their drops should disappear, and all should be well with the world. Okay, here we have our first spawning pad just about finished. Uh, I think I've figured out where I'm going to stick my signs and ladders, or excuse me, signs and stairs to make sure the water currents flow properly. And I believe we can uh, get all the mobs over in one area pretty efficiently. I've made the uh, spawning pads here 8x8 eight eight with uh, four half steps or slabs in between. I read somewhere that as long as you don't have a 3x3 three three area, spiders will not spawn. So this should create only the uh, taller mobs. Okay, now we're about finished. Uh, take care of our little corners here. I left these down so I can climb up and down on these pads a little easier. Uh, but we're going to seal them up. We're about ready for our test here. Oops, forgot to seal this up over here. I have not completely lit up all the surrounding caves. There's still a little exploration to do. Uh, but I do want to make sure that this is separated from said caves. Alrighty, let's pick a random corner and see if we can float all the way down to the entrance. I am not pushing... Uh, any directional keys at all and it looks like we're doing a pretty good job just uh, dragging us over toward the entrance or exit or however you want to put it and there we go off into the fire I put the fire out because I kept falling in there that wasn't fun at all alrighty we're about ready for a uh, test now yeah that looks nice and dark down in there uh, but I almost forgot I need to light my fire back so that the mobs uh, die when they fall in there. Now it has to wait for a mob. Alrighty, here come our first uh, general mobs from the dark spawning area. Naturally, they'd have to be skeletons. We've already got skeletons coming, you know. But, uh, looks like they are falling down. They are burning. I'm getting shot. Let's see. Maybe that'll fix it. Uh, no, no, I'm getting shot from them. Okay. Well, it seems they are burning. They are not making it across the gap. They are not coming on down toward me. Uh, but they are taking longer to burn than I would like. So we might have to break down and actually use the lava after all. I've been kind of avoiding that because I tend to fall into lava. And I, I'm trying not to fall into lava today. It's just my little uh, goal for today is to not die in lava. All right, I went and got some lava. I've already uh, cleared out the nether rack there. Now I could just pour lava in from on top, but I'm going to do this very carefully. Yeah, there we go. That should be far enough down that uh, they'll fall into it and uh, burn without uh, without being able to cross. All right, 
Well, I think that about wraps it up. Let's see what else we can do here. Okay, I turned it uh, back off. Oh, look, we've already got a uh, volunteer swimming across there. Uh, naturally, it was a skeleton. The whole point of this general mob spawning area was to get monsters other than skeletons, and I've only seen skeletons spawn since then. But uh, there we are. Nice dark uh, thing. No monsters in it right now, of course, because I'm here ready for them. Oh, wait, I was just finishing up, but I think I hear something else coming. Yes, even more skeletons. All right, I can see now that the lava works. So, uh, anything else coming? Okay, well, there's my, uh, yeah, there's something coming. Well, there's part three of my super skeleton spawner trap, uh, and this is how I've added a general monster spawning area to it. So I think we've learned a lot today, got some new techniques we can use in future projects. And, uh, well, that's all I think to say for now. So uh, this is Uncle Troy signing off. Have a good night.